We are Trent and Allie, and we love a good adventure. In our van, traveling another country. We are gonna chill here, drink our coffee. It's a beautiful day outside. Or right here at home in Utah. We like to think we work pretty well together and decided to tackle something we've never tried before. Not only did it take a little longer than expected, I'm really excited to get the chicken coop done. Basically, I want to be able to put the chicks in there tonight. We might be able to throw the chicks in there tomorrow. But right now, we need to go get to work and finish up this chicken coop. But it definitely pushed us out of our comfort zone. All right, we're running into some issues here. Most of them are between Trent and I. The adventure has only just begun, but I'm pretty sure we'll never do this again. Hi, good morning, little boy. Hi, Oso. The roosters crowed all night long last night, all through the dark, pretty much nonstop. I think I woke up at three, four, and five o'clock, and every time there was a rooster crowing. Yeah, I didn't realize that uh, there were so many noises going on outside because we always sleep with the window closed, but now that it's been warm and we had to open the window, I heard cows mooing, that rooster was super annoying. I didn't even realize that we're living among all of old McDonald's farms. <laughs> Where are we going first? Oh, let's go to the goats first. So yesterday I tried to come out and spend some time with the goats. It's really not something that I would ever want to film and put on YouTube because it's really just me sitting in the pen with the goats for like hours at a time trying to get them used to me. And they're not, uh, they're not like super warming up, but they are getting a little bit better. They ate some hay out of my hand, so I feel like that's a, a big victory. Hey Eleanor, how you doing baby? They like to lay in this corner in the dirt, which is fine, even though I made them this nice bed. I gave them bed number two. They don't even want to lay on it. They don't eat it, they don't lay on it. I don't even know why we bought it, but we bought a bunch of it, so it's gonna lay there until it gets gross and then we'll throw it away. How are you guys doing this morning? Oh, you cute girls, hello. Little Isabel, how's little Isabel back there? Still very standoffish, if you guys couldn't tell. There you go. Good morning. Hi, Eleanor. She's like, yeah, that's just the hay from over there. I already knew that was there. <laughs> She's gonna charge Oso. Yeah. This is Oso. Nancy doesn't really like Oso. She hasn't tried to ram him yet, but he also hasn't tried to get any closer than maybe, you know, seven or eight feet. Oso's gonna be a barn dog. He's supposed to protect these goats. And of course, Nancy is just protective over her little baby. Totally understandable. I would like for Oso to sleep out here, but I'm worried that he's still a little bit too little. I don't want him to get accidentally trampled or rammed by one of the older goats. So for now, we're bringing him out here every time we go out here, but he's still sleeping in the house, at least for a couple more weeks. Out, ladies. Eleanor's the only one that makes any noise, and she just makes that noise pretty much all the time. <laughs> Good girls. Good job, Oso. Doing a great job protecting them. Really holding down the fort here, Oso. <laughs> they have enough water and enough hay and some grain for the day. Now I think all that's left to do is go and check on the little chicks. Check out these guys. Look at the amount of feathers they have. Literally every day I come out and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's like a new row of feathers on their neck and on their back. Oh, you're okay. You're okay, you're okay. You're okay, yeah, just perch just like that. Hey. It's a miniature eagle. Seriously. Hey, lady. Good boy, hello. Good boy, oh, good sit. High five. High five, yes. They are going crazy and they are getting rambunctious. Needless to say, they need to be put into their chicken coop and their chicken run so that they have some room to run around. They can start learning to forage in the grass. I'm really excited to get the chicken coop done, but it's gonna be a lot of work we have to do today. Sounds like dinner's ready. Dinner? Breakfast. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're wide awake, aren't you? Yep. Let's get some coffee and some dinner.
Mickey Mouse pancakes. My mom used to make these for me all the time when I was a kid. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Well, breakfast was absolutely delicious. We scarfed up those pancakes. Thank you again, Gloria. But I'm pretty sure this chicken coop is cursed because every time we come out here to work, it's either raining or today it's super windy. The powers that be do not want us to finish this chicken coop. I think the only thing that we can do right now is just get to work. Well, any of you guys that were around for either of our van builds know Allie's favorite thing ever is painting. So today, she's gonna be breaking into the paint and getting the chicken coop covered. Favorite thing, only thing that Trent trusts me on. The two are interchangeable. We heard a lot of buying from over here, which is normal for Eleanor, but it sounded like a little bit more than normal. And she was trying to warn us. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Looks like Isabel got out again. She's been slipping through this fence because she fits through there. There you go. She doesn't go too far because her mom can't get through the fence, but I don't want her to get through there and it incentivize the mom to like, power really, through. Really try to break the fence down or something. This is the one weak spot in our fence that we've identified and this is the second time now that the baby has gotten through. It's actually the strongest fence we have. It just has the biggest holes. So yeah I think we just need to lay another piece like you know a, in a way that's not exactly over those holes that's like shifted over a tiny bit mm -hmm. even if it's not as strong just so the holes aren't that big. That's Trent's fix right there. Put a piece of plank in front of it and hope that deters her. Approved? Wonderful. jets from the Air Force Base up in Salt Lake. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Oh my gosh, that is so great. Ellie, got it! Did you get a video? We got it. Oh my gosh, Ellie, you're the best! Oh my gosh, you gotta send that to me. Oh my gosh. I got it a little bit on the GoPro. I was like, oh, turned so it on cool. as they were coming out. I, we were standing there and all of a sudden I'm like, we gotta get a picture and I look up and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm trying to get my picture! Uh, and of course she just like... <laughs> so what do you think of the chicken coop, mom? This is nicer than my house. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally like bigger than the van. These chickens have a bigger house than the van. For sure. And yeah. the little tiny chicken house that they get to live in. These guys are going to be spoiled. I think I'm going to be able to cover this roof and then we'll get the shingles thrown on. Then we just got to do the doors. It's like one of those wedding photo booths. Hey! hey. hey. You just put like the little likes, the little hearts, and the how many likes it has down there. <sighs> All right, let's get back to work. I've said it many times, I know. I would change my ways, I know for sure. When all the crows decide to meet. They settled down beneath my feet. I've got Pretty big, dark, ominous looking sky. We probably got about 10 or 15 minutes to get inside before it starts really coming down. 
So we're gonna clean up our tools. We're gonna take everything inside. I do have to say, I'm really glad we got the chicken coop painted. I got the shingles put on. So if it does rain, the shingles will be a nice test to see if it's actually watertight. I got the door built. All I gotta do is throw the window in it, put hinges and a latch on it. We might be able to throw the chicks in there tomorrow. Allie. Allie. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Supposed to be out here working. Coming. Allie's out here playing with the horses. <laughs> they, I just wanted to say hello. I haven't talked to them all day. I know. I'm just over here waiting for you. Oh, she's hanging out with her new boyfriend, <laughs> old Red, across the street. I think that one's a female, actually. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry. Can still be your boyfriend. <laughs> You're my only boyfriend. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, we got all that work done. Everybody's <sighs> doing good. Settle it in. I'm excited to finish this chicken coop. We're gonna pick you guys up in the morning. Well, we're getting a little bit of a slow start today. I think it's like almost 10 o'clock. We spent a little bit too long eating breakfast and drinking coffee, but I wanna get the run operational. I wanna get all the chicken wire up. I wanna get the doors functioning. Basically, I wanna be able to put the chicks in there tonight. And then we're done. All projects on the farm have been completed. No more. Ha. <laughs> We're just getting started. Good morning, ladies. How we doing, girls? Hello. How we doing? We are going to be here every day bringing you food and water and hopefully trying to pet you. So you might want to get used to it. <laughs> yeah, take a little nervous pee. There you go. Maybe that's a poop. It's like deer poop. Really loving playing with all these different types of animal poop. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually been a lot of fun working on this with Trent. Sometimes when you're working on a big project and it's stressful and complicated with your significant other, things can go in either direction. It can be good or bad. And uh, even though we've had our moments, overall he's a good patient teacher and he's even letting me use some of the tools. So getting in some practice, I'm hoping today I can be even more useful. <laughs> Love, are you struggling? This is a nightmare. I have paint everywhere. Everything is wet. Everything is sticky. And I'm painting in the dirt. So there's mm. no way to not get it covered in dirt. I mean, it's not like we're painting my mom's living room, you know? It's, it's a chicken coop. If there's a little bit of paint in the dirt or a little bit of dirt in the paint, I think it'll be okay. So you say that, but what you guys at home don't know is that when Trent says that, what he means is make it perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I strive for perfection and then I usually land around like almost satisfactory. <laughs> Nothing's ever perfect. Except for you. Also, I'm curious, you guys probably hear me mess up a lot and I say phrases backwards and I mix words up. Do you guys think I'm dyslexic? I think I have like partial dyslexia and that's why I switch my words up and I like say sentences backwards all the time. Like when you say, Facial nace or something? My face and my nasal and my nasal and phasals instead yeah. of my face and nasals. Yeah, I think you're just. I, yeah, it's weird. I think you're just thinking about a lot of things all at the same time, and speaking sometimes gets pushed to the back burner for you. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I don't know what's worse. I have paint all over me, and you have blood all over you. Yeah, I smashed this finger really hard this morning, and it just started bleeding pretty heavily out from underneath the nail. The nail looks cracked. I'm not complaining. It's just what happened. But it's coming together. We're really excited. And it's midday. I'm sunburnt. We're both dehydrated. Allie's covered in paint. We're going to go have some lunch. All right. We came in here, made some strawberry banana smoothies. Allie's making sandwiches. I can't believe you. These look like milkshakes. Yeah, they are milkshakes. Thank you. Cheers. Mmm. There's no way that's healthy. It's delicious though. It's so good. It's not <laughs> healthy, I knew it. Just a little bit of yogurt, a little bit of cream, some bananas, strawberries, ice. Mm. It's not to love. That's delicious, babe. Good job. All right, we're running into some issues here. Most of them are between Trent and I. It turns out it's not as easy as I thought. Building a chicken coop with your person. He's getting ornery. Don't make a bigger deal out ornery. of this than it needs to be. <laughs> Look at you. Allie wants to contribute, so I'm like, paint this, and she's like, I don't want to paint. And I'm like, all right, 
run the stapler. And then she's like, this is hard. I can't squeeze the thing to make the staples come out. I said that as an observation. And then I did it a few times and I got much better at it. And then That's... you were like, here. No, I wasn't. If you, I can staple, if you want me to staple, I can. I did the snips, I did the stapling. You're a gem. Trent is very, uh, You're I don't want to say over. I wouldn't have you any other oh, way. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm running into a dilemma. I need to put chicken wire on the roof. And it's really hard to get it up there for one. And I don't really have like a ladder that can do that. Well, okay. So the problem here is that Trent thinks it's necessary to fully enclose this pen so that nothing can get in or out. He thinks raccoons and coyotes and foxes are this a huge not, problem around here. This is not and while thinks. they might be here, they might exist here, I don't think they're going to climb up a chain link wall, a fence here, and then climb up over the roof. If we leave this roof exposed, if we leave this roof exposed, it's already under a structure. Anybody that's had chickens or knows anything about chickens or living in the country, please light Allie up in the comments and uh. let her know why we need a roof and let them know probably some experiences you've had where critters have gotten your chickens even with a roof and walls and a predator apron. I'm not putting all this time and effort and work and money and blood and sweat and tears. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not putting all of that into a chicken coop to like leave the last piece of the puzzle undone and have something come in and kill all of our chickens because I will cry if that happens. Well, in that case, why you keep complaining? Put the roof on. I'm not complaining. I said we have a dilemma. We're doing it Trent's way, guys. <laughs> we were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one and without you I'm sinking I'm always shining next to you Oh, I got you good are you sure man this is a real floppy real floppy dingle dangle there is that what we're calling it oh, it's gonna have to do oh my stapler oh, this sucks huh <laughs> i can't see up there back by popular demand time lapses of trent working outside yay you hand me the stapler stapler it's my, it's my stapler. Oh, my stapler. You took my stapler. Get my stapler, please. You don't know what you're doing. I, go, watch go, me. go. Good, you're doing so good. I know. Better than I can do. Wait, wait, get it on there. I am. Oh, See how much faster this goes when yeah, it's a staple? Go. This is awesome. Ow, what did I say? What did you do? You just smashed my smashed finger. I'm all the way down here. Please don't put the handle on my hand. Okay. Look at you go. This is your moment of fame. You yes, got this. Yes, yes, Come yes, on, Trent. Yes, yes, yes. Cut the yes, wires yes, faster. Yes, yes. <laughs> Two at once and I just couldn't handle myself. If we ever get into a fight, this is where you can sleep. <laughs> I don't even get the dog house, I get the chicken coop. <laughs> Beautiful. Good job. It's been a really long, what, four days? Four days of work 
This is day number four, yeah. I think both of us totally underestimated how much work and effort building a chicken coop and a chicken run, at least of this size, was going to be. We're both exhausted, covered in paint and dirt and blood and sweat, but we're so close. We still have to put some type of covering down inside the chicken coop. I still need to divide the laying boxes. There's still a bit to do. And the sun's about to go down, so we're not gonna get it done today. I think we're gonna see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. We're waking up bright and early on our morning routine to feed the chickens, feed the goats before we finish up the chicken coop. We're trying something new today. We're trying carrots to see if we can bribe them into being our friends. I don't think bribing them with carrots is gonna work. I think if we throw them some carrots, they'll probably eat them. But to get them to eat out of this bucket, I think is gonna be a pretty big challenge. Are you guys less than amused? How does it seem to be going? It worked twice and then they were like, oh, it's carrots? I don't really care. They don't seem to really be warming up to us yet. It's only been like three or four days, so we're gonna continue to give them the benefit of the doubt. We're gonna try to bring them treats every day and hopefully, eventually, they'll fall in love with us. That's what we're hoping. The way I hear people talk about having goats is like having dogs almost. But these guys are almost like livestock and Trent keeps reminding me that like goats are not your pets. Goats are there for a function. Even if you wanna love on them and be friends with them, it's not the same as having a dog. So I gotta remember that, not get super disappointed and frustrated. We're just gonna be patient and hopefully one day we'll be friends. We love you girls. Well, before we get started today with the chicken coop, this is an outlet, or this was an outlet. One of the sets of outlets had exploded and been melted, and it was in this little junction box right here. So I went ahead and picked up a new outlet at the hardware store last time I was there. I don't really like electrical stuff, but swapping an outlet's not that bad. And just like that, fully installed, good as new, even though the outside looks pretty crummy. One thing I am kind of worried about, the two holes in the top of a plug are where the neutral and the line come from. The bottom hole is the ground. It's kind of like a safety feature. This outlet has a ground. There's three holes, obviously. However, the wires running out from the house, there's no ground. It's a little bit dangerous, but I'm not gonna rewire the whole barn. It's just something that kind of makes me uneasy. But anyways, let's get back to the chicken coop. So this section here that I just lifted up is actually gonna be where all of the laying boxes are gonna go. There's gonna be four different boxes that are gonna be divided right here. This is where you're gonna come, lift up this little side piece, reach down in and grab the eggs when you're ready to go harvest eggs. I need to divide this. I need to cut pieces of OSB that's gonna separate each section or each laying box. <sighs> it's a little tedious work like this that takes the most amount of time. yellow level small yellow level try saying that five times fast small yellow level small yellow level perch away little chickens you guys have been super helpful in the comments last time we started making the chicken coop a lot of you said that just having a plain osb floor would rot eventually would get really gross with like droppings and stuff so instead of buying flooring or something that would prevent a lot of rot, we actually just put down some plastic sheeting, stapled it in place up on the walls. So you can see it'll actually make a nice inner box. So we'll actually fill this up probably four or five inches deep with pine shavings. And then we or Trent's mom will come out here and stir it around and not have to actually change all of the bedding except for a couple times a year, like once or twice a year. It's a much more efficient and easier way to keep the chicken coop clean. It's very low maintenance, and this is our first time having chickens, as well as my mom. So we're not experienced. I wouldn't say that we're idiots or we don't know what we're doing. We've done some research, but 
I think this is gonna work. And I'm sure all of the modifications for things that don't work that are coming down the road, we will keep you guys informed on. We're learning with you guys. Oh my gosh. Let me just say, this has been a very solid four or five days of work, and I think it's finally done. Mark my words, this is awesome, but the next house I build, I'm gonna live in. <laughs> <laughs> no more tiny houses for animals. Anyway, let's go get the chicks. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better <laughs> He's like on the edge. He's like doesn't know if he really wants to or not. Nice. These guys are really enjoying the run. Foraging, even though there's water and food right here. <laughs> We like measured out this chicken run and chicken coop for 11 full-size chickens. I think it's gonna be plenty of space for them, but especially now seeing how tiny they are, this run looks enormous. <laughs> yeah. But it's gonna be good when, like she said, when they're full-size chickens. I'm exhausted. I think Allie's exhausted. But good job. I think it came out great. Good job to you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think we're going to put you guys down and we're going to see you next time. We wanted to thank you so much for tuning in and enjoying this adventure with us. Make sure to like the video if you guys appreciated it. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Trent, myself. Oh, so much poop. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gross. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, I need a piece of paper. That, that is, is so gross. Huge poo. Oh, and it's hot. It's really hot. I don't want to touch it. If I stand up, it's just going to slide down my leg. Just use some grass. Oh, he was so comfortable in my hand. I was like, wow, we're friends. No, he just had to take a poop.